Hello everybody, on today's installment of Murta Makes Videos, this is a completely pointless comment on a person that has already quit their job. And the point is that no matter how much you work as a video game developer, your audience will not just like suddenly get richer out of nowhere. That's not, that's not how the world works. I am very sorry, but AAA games are pretty expensive, so maybe if it is very important people buy your game full price and release, maybe don't make a AAA game. I don't, I don't know. I, I otherwise go for a very popular franchise. But honestly, even the game that I was like super waiting for, Crusader Kings 3, which I do own by the way, I bought it 60% off because I can't be spending that kind of money. It's just, I earn one-tenth of what a video game costs a month. And most of it goes into living expenses. And sometimes dentistry, which I require a lot more than video games. Just a thought, it would be like saying, hey, we spent two trillion dollars making this movie. I don't want you to make DVDs of this movie. I want you to pay $50 to go and watch it in the cinema. Well, that's very admirable for you to spend that sort of amount of money on that movie. I am sure it's a very good movie. Doesn't, doesn't magically give me $50 to spend on this movie, though. I am so sorry. So anyways, Days Gone Lead says, don't complain if there's no sequel if you didn't buy it at full price. John Gavin was speaking to game designer David Jaff on Jaff's YouTube show, where he was asked if he had heard anything about any meaningful uptick of engagement with Days Gone since the game was added to the PlayStation Plus collection on PS5. I do have an opinion on something that your audience may find of interest and it might piss some of them off. Gavin said, if you love a game, buy it at fucking full price. I can't tell you how many times I've seen gamers say, yeah, I've got that, I got that on sale, I got it through PS Plus, whatever. I'm just saying, you don't. But don't complain if a game doesn't get a sequel if it wasn't supported at launch, Gavin replied. It's like God of War got whatever number million of sales at launch and you know, Days Gone didn't. I'm just speaking for me personally as a developer. I don't work for Sony. I don't know what the numbers are. So I think the uptick in engagement with a game is not as important as did you buy the game at full price? Because if you did, then that's supporting the developers directly. Do I think that game developers should be supported? Of course they do. Does that somehow magically make me able to spend my money on video games at full price? No, it doesn't. I understand that some companies have the issue where they will only give you a sequel if the game did very well up front and they don't even count the money that you got when the game went on discounts. I understand how that might be problematic. I understand that you guys worked on this game for what was it? Six years of overtime? Did they stated something somewhere on this article? I now don't remember where that was. Yeah, after being asked directly by Jeff if he was fired, Gavin replied it was a hard long development. Six years and I worked six years of crunch and that is... Matey, that is absolutely unacceptable. That is absolutely unacceptable, but... You can spend 6 years on that game, you can spend 10 years on that game, you can spend 20 years on that game. That doesn't suddenly make all of the people that are barely surviving, which is majority, including a lot of video game developers, to be fair, because a lot of companies like to be skimpy and completely un underpay their development projects. It doesn't suddenly make people able to spend that sort of money on their entertainment needs. It's especially bad when in AAA, AAA games right now, you wouldn't just need 
the money for the game, you kinda you kinda gonna need the money for the hardware. I I can't run a lot of shit now because my graphics card is kinda outdated. Cue the pandemic and the great technology shortage that we have entered. Making me extra unlikely to buy anything new. Legitimately. You make a game that 970 can run and that I can stream without my 970 chugging? That doesn't cost 50 pounds? I'm all for it. I'm all over it. For example, I did get Crusader Kings for 25 pounds. <laughs> and it runs absolutely perfect, so... I am happy that that thing runs. It's one of the few current generation games that just smooth. smooth. I also bought Shadow Man, and I want to say that I bought it full price, but they released, they, re they did a small discount for release. Shadow Man Remastered Steam. Yeah, they, they, they released a 25% off, so I bought it for 11 pounds, so please don't say that I am skimpy because I couldn't just like not have the release discount while I could, but then I would have had to wait before buying it. Anyways, I did that because that is 11 pounds. That is a game that I already know because I have done a let's play on it on my YouTube channel a while ago that I would love to revisit that they put five extra hours of content into, apparently, upgraded all the textures, upgraded the resolution. Apparently they had to rewrite the whole game from scratch because they didn't really have base code. So they did a lot. They went through a lot of trouble to remaster a game that originally went out at like 1999 and they released it at 15 pound price tag. You know what? This is the kind of this is the kind of stuff that I can support. This is the kind of stuff that I can support. This developer obviously loved what they were doing because they remastered a game that wasn't like super demanding a remaster. They obviously put a lot of effort into it. And their price tag is inside my means. Now, is Shadow Man remaster a AAA game? No, it isn't. But then again, I will barely be able to ever buy AAA games because I don't earn a lot of money. My hardware is kind of chugging. And honestly, I am fine with indie and AA. I am comfortable. I am very comfortable in this area. I don't need every single game to be a graphics explosion. That is questionable amount of gameplay hours. I, I don't need super long games. I like enjoyable things. Fun things are fun, and fun things come in different shapes and sizes for different people. So, days gone, developer. Obviously, you didn't have enough people that looked at your game, looked at the price tag, and was all like, yeah, fun things are fun, this is fun, and I am prepared to spend that amount of money for this fun thing. And no matter how much you're gonna be like, we tried really hard, and I feel for you. I feel for you that you tried really hard, that you did six years of overtime, which is absolutely unacceptable. That must have wrecked complete havoc on your health. But a whole bunch of people looked at that and they were like, it is fun, it looks fun, but it doesn't look like $70 worth of fun, or $60 worth of fun, or whatever the price tag for that game was at a time, they were like, I don't have that money. That money is precious to me. I can't just go along spending it on a game like this. And no matter how much you're gonna be like, people must buy games at full price. No matter how much time you're gonna invest into them. If there's not enough of people out front going, this game looks like $60 worth of fun to me that I can definitely take that money out of my budget and put to it, and not a lot of people will own the game. That's, that's just how it goes. From their own end, you have the decision. You can either accumulate sales over time, you can release the game on like a subscription platform, you can 
lower your budget, really. And make smaller games, make double A games that you release at a smaller price tag. I understand the exchange, I understand the quality exchange. Yet, once again, I can't change my situation. And I feel for you, developer, even though this article was completely inflammatory, I feel for you, but I can't change my financial situation in order to support you. And no matter the amount of anger that you're gonna express, that's not gonna change. You can adapt and make smaller, cheaper games. You can adapt and go with a company that will let you get those sales over time and still say a okay to a sequel. You can adapt and release cheaper games. I don't know what to tell you. You you kinda you kinda have to adapt. One thing that I can tell you is that yelling at your audience to fund you is not the way to go. If you feel the need for that, there's this amazing place where you can get the games funded as you go along. You can either have like a monthly Patreon thing or a Kickstarter thing. A lot of Kickstarters don't work out, sure. But it will tell you about the interest of people, whether there is enough people up front to fund it. Yeah, it will kinda kinda give you that information, which is why a lot of a lot of companies kickstart their projects, honestly. If you need to go that route, you need to go that route. If you need to tell your fans that you need to go that route, you need to tell your fans that you need to go that route. Either way. Sitting there being angry at the world, the world can't afford your game, does not make the world afford your game. Thank you for coming to this TED talk with Myrta. If you want me to talk about anything else specific, just so you know, I'm always open to suggestions. I recently lost like 50 subscribers for disclosing my religious connotations. I don't, I don't really care. That was still a very fun video to make, especially considering that I was very, very respectful to people in the video, but, but I attracted a lot of anger against myself. Oh dear. Oh dear. And I am also very sorry that this channel is a mis mishmash of everything. It's kind of the expression of my personality. Honestly, it's been going for 11 years. I am obviously incapable of doing this for a livelihood and I don't think that I will ever just like explode and be able to do this for a livelihood so I am having fun with it I am presenting the opinions that matter to me on it I talk about the things that I like on it and I post video game footage that I like playing on it even when the game is like 10 years old like Skyrim or until math, 17 years old, like Bloodlines, or it's a text-based adventure. Effectively, I have hit the point where I do things that I enjoy on this channel, because I can't make it a profitable venture. Ven ven venture. Yes. So I may as well have fun. <laughs> Which means that it's a bit of a mishmash. And really hard to advertise so I am very sorry if some of my videos sometimes disappoint you but if you like me you know drop by anyways thank you so much for watching if you're still here and I hope I'm gonna see you on whatever other bullshit I post Toodaloo.